Hi, I'm Joe Voltrakis with Hoop Tech Products. We're here to tell you about our Gen 2 cap frame and framing gauge system. The cap frame system is truly that because it requires a framing gauge to set up the cap and the cap frame to hold the fabric and cap in place when we take it to the driver on the machine. When you take your cap frame out of the box, it'll probably look like this. This is a, a flexible item. It is not necessarily straight, but when it's working, holding a cap, it becomes straight. So when, when a cap is latched in place, this is straightened out. So this is designed being very flexible so that it will accommodate different types of cap styles and thicknesses. Stay with us and we're going to show you a step-by-step -step process on how to frame up your cap on the Gen 2 cap frame system. Step one, attach the T-bar framing gauge to your workstation. Put it at a comfortable working height. It's pictured here on the HoopTech framing station, but you can attach it to your work table or your machine stand. Step two, place the frame on the framing gauge. Tilt the frame up and away from you to set it on over the two tabs at the back of the framing gauge. Then set it down until it lays flat. Step three, open the Gen 2 cap frame. Release the latch and open the top of the frame. The top will rest in an open position. The framing gauge has an orange lever underneath, which allows you to move the top plate in and out. The position of the top plate will vary depending on what kind of hat you are framing up. For a bucket hat, pull the plate all the way out. Because these hats are tall, they need more support. Step four, slide the backing underneath the backing clips on each side. Take a piece of three and a half by 11 tear away backing, slide one side under the clip and bring the backing over to the other clip and slide underneath. Step five, push on the backing to push through the tabs until they are visible. This is important because these tabs will hold the bill of the hat during stretching. Step six, turn out your sweatband. Holding your hat facing away from you, turn your sweatband out. Step seven, put your hat on the frame. Hold the cap and sweatband and place the hat on the frame. It is easiest to put the right side of the cap in first on the hinge side. Work the left side over so it sits on the support. At this point, look to make sure the sweatband is still turned out. Step eight, position the T-bar inside the bottom of the hat. Place your index fingers inside the sweatband and pinch the sides of the cap near the bottom. Pull out in the opposite direction to open up the hat. Pick up the T-bar with the rest of your fingers and tuck it inside the bottom of the cap. Make sure it's in as far as it will go past the sweatband. This ensures that it stays in place once you begin to apply pressure. Step nine, center your hat. To make sure that the cap is in the right location for stretching, push the cap forward until it is sitting in front of the two tabs we pushed the backing through earlier. You should be able to feel the tabs on each side under the fabric on the cap. Center your hat on the gauge. Step 10, apply pressure. With your right hand, push straight down on the T-bar handle. Apply enough pressure for the fabric to lay down flat. Not every hat pulls down the same. Make adjustments as you work with the hat. Step 11, while still applying pressure, close the frame. Use your left hand to grab the top of the frame and pull it over to close. Hook the latch and then close. Step 12, take the frame off of the gauge. Lift up on the T-bar and remove the back of the cap. Grabbing the top of the frame, lift it straight up off of the T-bar framing gauge. Because the bill is pressed down, you are able to sew closer to the bill. And because the backing is supported so tall, you are able to sew taller designs. Step 13, click onto your cap driver. Make sure that the latches engage on both sides. Now you are ready to sew.